Today we will be installing the TLR-8G sub. First thing we want to do is practice safety first. I'm going to remove the magazine and we've already checked to make sure that there are no rounds chambered. The next step is to pay close attention to a few features of the 8G sub. Loosen the screw and then squeeze it and we'll see that it's spring loaded. It'll ease in the insulation. Also pay attention to the fact that there's a special key installed that matches perfectly to the notch inside your rail. We'll start from one side and then roll it into place and then use the included multi-tool to tighten down the screw. Just hand tighten it. The next step is to install one of the high or low switches. In this particular case, I'd like to have more space, more clearance on this side and I'll keep this side with the high switch for comfort. Using the multi-tool, we just push the pin through, the high side comes out, we're going to install the low side, and then push the pin back in place. Now I've got the clearance I need on this side, and this side I have all the comfort I need. Lastly, let's install the battery. A great feature of the TLR-8 sub is that you don't have to remove it from the firearm to change batteries. There's a picture on the side here that shows us which end the battery goes first. In this case, we're using the positive end first. Return the face cap. While screwing it down, you should notice that there's a slight divot, a little space in there. That's the safe off mode. If you press the button on the side, either button, the light will not function. This is to prevent accidental activations when in storage. Tighten it the rest of the way down and it activates. Now your light is installed.